हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी थ्री क्वार्टर्स ऑफ ए फ्रैक्शन और थ्री फोर्थ ऑफ ए फ्रैक्शन फॉर ईयर टू स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड थ्री क्वार्टर्स दैट मीन्स थ्री बाय फोर टेक द शेप्स दैट आर इन थ्री क्वार्टर्स दैट मीन्स थ्री बाय फोर आउट ऑफ फोर पार्ट फोर इक्वल पार्ट थ्री पार्ट शुड बी शेडेड लेट सी आवर फर्स्ट शेप सो दिस इज आवर शेप and how many part it has divided into it has divided into 1 2 3 and 4 parts how many parts are shaded 1 2 and 3 parts are shaded but are the parts equal no right so that means this is not my answer now let's see the next shape so this is my rectangle did i divide my shape into four equal parts yes 1 2 3 and 4 parts now How many parts are shaded? One, two, and three parts are shaded. So that means this figure is three by four. Out of four parts, three parts are shaded. That means this is my answer. Let's see the next figure. This is the circle I have, and how many parts it has divided into? It has divided into one, two, three, and four parts. Are the parts equal? Yes, all the parts are equal. Now I will look for how many parts are shaded. So there is only one part shaded. So that means this shape is out of four parts, one part is shaded. That means this is one by four. So this is not my answer. Let's see the next shape. So this is the triangle I have, and I have divided into one, two, three, and four parts. Are the parts equal? No, right? This part is smaller than this part, so that means this is not my answer. Let's see the next shape. This is the square I have, and I have divided into how many parts? One, two, three, and four parts. Are the parts equal? Yes, all the parts are equal. Now I will look for how many parts are shaded. Shaded parts are one, two, and three. Three parts are shaded, so that means this figure is. Out of four parts, three parts are shaded. That means this figure is three by four. That means this is my answer. Let's look at the next figure. So this is the circle I have, and I have divided into how many parts? I have divided into one, two, and three parts. Are the parts equal? Yes, the parts are equal. But what I am looking it for? I am looking it for three by four. This shape is what? This has been divided into three parts. So three will come in the denominator. How many parts are shaded? two parts are shaded right so two will come in the numerator so that means this shape is 2 by 3 but what i am looking it for i am looking it for 3 by 4 so that means this is not my answer let's see one more example take the shape that shows three quarters shaded write 3 by 4 next to the shape that are correctly shaded so that means i have to look for the shape which has divided into four equal parts and out of four parts three parts should be shaded so this is the shape i have it has divided into 1 2 3 and four parts yes correct now are the parts equal yes right all the parts are equal because one side on this side and one is half is here one half is here and one side is here so these two parts are the same so that means this shape has been divided into four equal parts now i will look for how many parts are shaded one two and three parts are shaded that means there are four parts and out of that three parts are shaded that means this shape is 3 by 4 which is my answer now let's look at the next shape So this is the circle I have. It has divided into how many parts? One, two, three, and four parts. Are the parts equal? Yes, all the parts are equal. How many parts are shaded? One and two parts are shaded. That means this shape is out of four parts, two parts are shaded. So this shape is two by four, not three by four. That means this is not my answer. Let's look at the next shape. So this is the rectangle I have. I have divided into one, two, three, and four parts. Are the parts equal? Yes, all the parts are equal. Now I will look for how many parts are shaded. One, two, and three parts are shaded. That means this shape is out of four parts, three parts are shaded. That means this figure is three by four. That means this is my answer. Now let's look at the next figure. 
This is the square I have and I made a cuts like this. How many parts I have divided into? 1, 2, 3 and 4 parts. Are the parts equal? Yes, all the parts are equal. Now I will look for how many parts are shaded. 1, 2 and 3 parts are shaded. So that means this figure has also divided into 4 equal parts which will come in the denominator and out of that 3 parts are shaded. That means this figure is 3 by 4. That means this is my answer. Let's look at the next figure. This is the heart I have. I have divided into 1, 2, 3 and 4 parts. Right? But are the parts equal? No, right? This part is smaller than this part. is. This is not my answer. Let's look at the next figure. This is the rectangle I have. I have divided into how many parts? I have divided into 1, 2, 3 and 4 parts. But are the parts equal? No, right? Because this shape is smaller than this shape. That means this shape has been divided into 4 unequal parts. That means this is not my answer. Now, let's see one more example. Divide the shapes into quarters. Color 3 by 4 of the shape. That means you have to first divide the shape into quarters. Quarters means 1 by 4. That means it should have 4 equal parts. So, I have to divide my shape into 4 equal parts. So, let's look at the first shape. So, this is my square and I have to divide this shape into 4 equal parts. So, as I have told you earlier, there are so many ways to divide the shape into 4 equal parts. So, you can pick any shape. So, let's take, I am dividing it diagonally. So, I will join like this and I will join like this. Now, I have to color how much part? I have to color 3 by 4. That means out of 4 parts, I have to color 3 parts. So, that means if I have to pick the color, that means I have to color this part, this part and this part. 3 parts, I have to color it. Now, let's look at the next shape. So, this is our square again. So, I have to divide this shape into 4 equal parts. So, let's divide like this in the middle and join in the middle. I have to color 3 by 4. That means out of 4 parts, I have to color 3 parts. So that means I have to color this part, this part and this part. Now let's look at the next shape. So this is the circle I have and I have to divide this circle into 4 equal parts. So let's join like this and join like this. So that means I have divided my shape into four equal parts. Now I have to color how many parts? I have to color three parts. So let's color it. That means I have to color this part, this part and this part. Let's look at the next shape. So this is the rectangle I have. I have to divide this rectangle into four equal parts. So there are so many ways to do it. So you can pick any one of the shape. So let's divide like this in the middle and let's divide like this in the middle. So I have divided my shape into four equal parts. Now how many parts I have to shade? I have to shade three parts. So that means I have to shade this part, this part and this part. So I will show you once I will color all the parts. As you can see that I have colored all the three fourths of the shape. That means this is also 3 by 4. This is also 3 by 4. This is also 3 by 4. And this is also 3 by 4. Out of 4 equal parts, 3 parts are shaded. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So that's how you have to divide your shape into first of all 4 equal parts. And then you have to shade the 3 parts out of that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and leave a comment down below. Bye-bye everyone.